by the end of this video I will have turf down. Welcome if you're new here this is my home lawn project I'm installing three different types of turf at my house reason I'm doing that is to show you guys a bit of variety in different types of turf and I'll be able to test all the different types of trimmers and mowers that we have coming here on different sorts of surfaces. In the last video I scalped the absolute guts out of the turf left it with runners like this today's about getting it ready for the new turf which is about to arrive. Now the scalp did a pretty good job of getting rid of most of that dead grass I then plan to use some sort of cultivator to mix up the soil in there. Started running short on time though because we were getting a downpour in a couple of days. So I decided to use this cock scarifier that's arrived which I'll be testing out on some proper lawns. And it did a good job of getting rid of those last runners and just sort of oh, mixing up that top runners. layer of soil. Look at that. Tilt it up a little bit for me. I then just cleaned up what was left with this old rotary mower that I've got. Then I hit it with the cock scarifier again and was left with a pretty workable surface. Now it's not really this scarifier's intended job, but it did work and I will test this thing in proper conditions. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna let it dry out now. We've had a bit of rain this week. We meant to get a couple of days of sun, so hopefully it'll dry out a bit. And I can get the leveling rake out here and try and get it a bit smoother. But again, I'm not going for, it doesn't need to be a bowling green or anything like that here. As long as there's no big sort of depressions, I'll be happy with that. Now I had some perennial ryegrass out the front here and that was a little bit more stubborn in coming out. I used this thatching rake to, to pull what was left out of it and again seemed to do a good enough job. I've just laid a starter fertilizer. We've gone with Munns today. Hopefully give it a bit of a kick start. Now the turf's here, it looks absolutely amazing. Let's go have a look. Now this is the Sir Grange Zoysia which is going in that section that I just showed you a second ago. The colour is amazing, so lush, beautiful. On our nature strip section, we have some equally beautiful. Look at that. Tiff Tough, hybrid Bermuda or a Cooch. Now the reason I've gone with a few different turf varieties, obviously being the Sir Grange, the Tiff Tough, and out the back the Eureka Kaikuyu, is so I can show you guys a bit more variety, test all the different tools on different sorts of turf just gives me a few more options and and it's a bit of fun now time to get laying this sir grange zoysia and these were some of the most premium turf rolls i've ever seen very easy to work with it was just like laying carpet very satisfying to do i was left with a tiny gap at the end here which i just threw some sand in at the end and eventually it'll grow over it's just for me it's not for anyone else so i wasn't too concerned about that just going to get some water on it, start on the front section, then I think my neighbour's got a uh, turf roller, so, oops. <laughs> so I might see if I can borrow that and sort of roll it in a bit more. But really happy with this stuff, that just looks amazing, straight, right when it's laid down. Now I'm not sure where you are in the world, some parts in the world are in drought and have water restrictions. This is actually recycled water. We can use as much of it as we want and they've got that much of it at the moment it's actually free to use for all this month which is perfect timing for having new turf god that looks so good like seriously look at the color now onto the tiff tough out the front on the nature strip uh, this will be mowed a little bit lower than the sir grange probably around 15 mils with a cylinder mower we have a new cylinder mower on the way very excited about that i was initially going to mow it with my scott bonner but I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys something a little bit newer and more modern for those of you that don't want to be doing up a 50 or 60 year old cylinder mower. Hey! You alright? You can come through. Oh, you just want to have a look? Oh, no English. Oh, you, you just want to look. Yeah, that's right. There's no language barrier with beautiful grass. Okay, just some finishing touches here. Good opportunity to tell you I'm not an expert. I just like having a go. Now it's just time to water it in. It's got to be the most satisfying part for sure. So I decided just to roll it in with my Scott Bonner, which I was going to use to cut this with. But as I said, we've got a new one coming. It's all down now, laid, ready to go. Now we're just going to have to keep the water up to it, which shouldn't be an issue because we've got so much rain coming. I cannot get over the colour of this Sir Grange Zoysia. Still have the backyard to do with the Eureka Kaikuyu. And obviously I'm going to be doing updates on this yard. So make sure you follow to see how nice we can get it.